that's enough of me. You didn't come here to see an Asian talk. So, now, we come to our final performer of the night, all the way from the UK. Please give a thunderous applause for Trevor Love! Thank you, thank you, Karu. Round of applause for Karu. Thank you, thank you. Sorry I got held up. The traffic there in the middle there is very bad. There was a blockage there. So I think it's because it's Song Pran. Who's from Thailand? No one's from Thailand. It's the Thailand Water Festival and that lady there was celebrating the Thailand Water Festival by uh, sitting too close to uh, that couple there's table and it just held me up. So I apologise apologize for being late onto the stage. Um, Thank you so much for clapping, that's absolutely lovely. Um, thank you for wearing short trousers um, for me. And did you wear them especially for me? You, you did, that's so lovely, so thank you, thank you very much. And thank you for ignoring me and just carrying on scrolling through your phone. Um, there's all different ways that people welcome me onto the stage. I'd love to see how everybody does it differently. Some people did the lazy thing of just clapping. Um, with this lady. Oh, what are you doing, actually? Yeah. I see. I foolishly. I'm. F I'm from England, and foolishly, I thought once I made a comment about her uh, scrolling through her Instagram feed, she'll feel embarrassed to put the phone down. No, just carries on. <laughs> just, yeah, that's what I'm doing. What are you doing? I'm carrying on. <laughs> have you been, Have you been here all week, and just these people just turned up? Um, <laughs> are they spoiling your? Your Sunday evening. <laughs> are you two together? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Are you her helper? <laughs> do you know why? Does she not know why she's here? Does she just do this all the time and you thought, well, let's get her out of the house and let her have her do this in a different environment? <laughs> for her. Is that it is? Are you her carer? This is a social work in action. Are you a friend or are you employed by the government? To look after this thing? What, what's, what's, what's the dynamic here? What do you, what do you think? What do you think the dynamic is? You got, I mean, you're you're sitting at a perpendicular angle to most of the people in the audience. I presume those seats were a lot more expensive um, because you can, not only can you see the performers, but you can also you, you can see the people watching the performers. Very expensive table that is. Um, these people were invited, but they did, they couldn't quite afford those seats, so they have to sit at the traditional angle, and they can't sit. But you, did you? I mean, have you, have you been looking at those two? And they're well lit. Have you noticed? You've noticed them. You haven't noticed them. Uh, have you speculated on what the relationship or the dynamic is here? No, no, you wouldn't speculate. You wouldn't, but hold on, hold on. What? What? The other one is a spy. So, so I don't know who she thinks the other one is. Is is this the other one? This is the other one. That's the other one. So she's a spy. Okay, you think she's a spy? Okay. That's it's a, okay. And who do you think she's spying for? I can't tell you. You, uh, you. you can't tell me. That's her job not to tell us. Oh, you're oh, you're spying on her. Espionage. Double espionage. All right. Uh, are you a spy? <laughs> really? No. This is just the thing a spy would say. <laughs> you really know. That's one of that's one of James Bond's catchphrases, isn't it? It's um, a dry martini shaken, not stirred. And are you a spy, Mr. Bond? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's one of his catchphrases. That's what makes the franchise so well loved. Um, so. What do you think? We're going to open it up to the. Uh, you, you, you've been sat quite close to them. Have you speculated on what's going on there? I mean, it, to, to me, it looks like you two are in conventional, old fashioned, traditional, heterosexual relationship. <laughs> or your brother and sister were very close to <laughs> And it's the hungry ghosts. <laughs> the ghosts of that. What, what happened? You brought the house down. It wouldn't be the first time, Mervyn. What happened there? What fell on you? Wow. 
I think the rules are if the artwork falls on the customer, they get to keep it. Is that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Or at least a very favourable price. Yeah. Free beer. Free beer, I think, yeah. <laughs> wow. Do you think anything else is going to fall down there? I mean, I don't want to... I'm not a carpenter, but that isn't how I would put a door up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, okay, let's have that to make it pass that to me. It should, it should. Yeah, okay. Um, I think it's a sign. <laughs> Don't look back. You're not going that way. Okay. So that's that's that. We'll just that will come in handy later. <laughs> um, narrowly. We narrowly avoided that. That lady's head nearly went through the middle of it. Um, we've, we've solved that. We'll just put that there. I promise that that will come back later. It will all make sense. <laughs> Don't look back. You're not going that way. So, heterosexual relationship. <laughs> yes? Or brother and sister in a close family? No, no, no. no. And uh, are you the Spanish? Yeah. Yeah, you're the, you're the Spanish. Uh, sorry that we've got Gibraltar. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm English. I'm English. And uh, I, I do think um, we should probably hang on to it a little bit longer. <laughs> but so uh, I, I, I'm aware that it's, it is um, it's sort of uncomfortably close to uh, the Spanish mainland. You know, if you look at the map, it's, it, you know, it's essentially in the wrong place. <laughs> It should be closer to, to England, uh, I think we should move it. But, uh, you know, I don't think we should give it back to you, I just think we should move it to a place where, you know, I think it would go very nicely next to the Isle of Wight. I think that's where it should be. Um, so I apologise I apologize for us putting our island in the wrong place. Is that, do you accept that? And do you in fact understand any English at all? Yes, <laughs> just, 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 okay. uh, Yo hablo espanol, entonces si tienes una pregunta, alguna duda, si yo hablo algo que no entiendes, o si ellos hablan cosas que ustedes no entienden, levanta tu mano, y piden, por favor, ayúdenos. <laughs> De vuelvo de Rota. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Apparently they also speak Spanish. <laughs> All right. So, are you, are you on holiday? You're not on holiday, you live here. You live here, you lived here for ages. Not for ages. 45 years. Four years. Four years. Okay, that's right. That's right. So, you're, 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 you're locals. Thank you. Okay. But the thing is, we've got a mystery here. Okay. We need to solve this mystery before we can start. Okay. Have you got any uh, sort of, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Intuitions? What do you think is going on there? Do you think it's just friends? Um, do you think it's work colleagues? Do you think they're members of the press that have been alerted? Uh, I think it's something related to the... Could you not put your hand up in front of the woman? <laughs> She's your wife. Please don't put your hand up in front of people. Other people find that very, behavior very shocking. I apologize. I apologize. I know in the Spanish culture, it's normal for a man to wave his hand in front of the face of the woman. But here, with, you know, it's, that's very, you know, that's very important. Who, who felt unsafe when his hand went to front of the woman? You know, this woman here did. Well, she felt unsafe. You've been feeling unsafe for the last 20 minutes. Things keep falling on you, know what? You've been feeling unsafe. Anyone else feel unsafe when this man put his hand in front of the Spanish senorita's face? <laughs> did you? Did you feel unsafe? Yeah. Okay. okay so one, just one person. So you can carry on. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. Yeah. Now, what were you going to say, Mel? I was saying that I think it's she's a spy because you think she is a spy. Oh, yes, so you're a part of her group. Yeah. Why? Why? What reason? Because when you were talking about her, when I was talking about her, she made something to make. Picture for to distract everybody. What? She's a topic. You think that she made that fall on the woman who claims to be spying on her's head to detract 
from us questioning her further about her espionage. Uh, okay. You have a very vivid imagination. <laughs> Oh, well done, I like that, connecting the dots. So now, okay, okay, let's let's go with this. Let's go with this. Okay, I think it's ridiculous. Okay, okay. I have to say I think you're crazy. Okay, but I understand why you're attracted to him. He's that he's that kind of Spanish guy that just has a, a, a vivid imagination, a little bit paranoid, makes connections, too many connections, but is very attractive. About I think he's absolutely crazy. Uh, realmente loco. Um, but but let's hear him out. Okay. Now, do you think that that she? How did it? How did she make it fall? Did she? Did she make it fall via a complex series of mechanical? Connections, levers, possible hidden wires. <laughs> or did she do it psychically with the power of her mind? Or is there a third alternative that I haven't thought of yet <laughs> that you believe is the reason it fell? Uh, What's well, hold on, hold on, you just been sh shouted at what? Who shouted at him? <laughs> What did you say, Kelvin? Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> okay. Third that is the third possibility. Yeah. Yeah. Poltergeist. Or is a poltergeist? Okay, but that yeah, it could be a poltergeist. It could be a poltergeist. We had the fan. She's a ghostbuster. <laughs> she's not a spy, she's a ghostbuster. And the way that she busts ghosts is by making them do a lot of stuff. She's not a ghostbuster, she's a ghost coach. She's a sort of ghost enactor. A ghost enabler. Yeah, all right, okay. Well, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. You think she's... she's Essentially, some kind of witch. <laughs> she, she's brought. Well, she hasn't done a very good job of getting rid of them, has she? <laughs> They're very much still here. We're seeing what she's up against. Oh, we're seeing what she's up against. Yeah. Okay. This woman has been thinking about this more than you. <laughs> Remember when I thought you were the crazy one? This woman has a whole backstory to this. It's haunted, she's been brought here to see what she's up against, and then once she knows what she's up against, then she's going to do the busting. Okay, I don't think you look like a ghostbuster. Um, I don't think you look like a spy. I don't think you look like a witch. And I think you're the trouble. <laughs> yeah, I'm still hurt, actually. I'm still, I'm still, I'm, I've got a very delicate ego, and I still haven't got over the fact that you were on your phone when I was on the stage. Haven't got over that. Haven't got over that. I've got a very fragile ego. Haven't got over that. And then I haven't got over the fact that when I pointed out that you were on your phone, you continued to be on your phone. Okay? Right? So that's why I'm, I'm sort of um, I'm holding a grudge. <laughs> and I have, you know, I have to admit that. I'm sorry, it's very unprofessional. You shouldn't hold grudges towards members of your audience. Um, at least I'm acknowledging it. At least I have I have a little bit of self in here, so my apologies. Um, um, what's your name? Diana. Diana. Well, thank you for putting the phone away. <laughs> I think we've made progress. They're on, they're on your side, Diana, they support you, that you put your phone away, you've got a round of applause for that, so that's lovely. Um, and, um, right, I'm going to, I'm going to now, I'm going to, I think, I think your work colleagues, I think you work together. No. No, no you don't work together. Okay. Can you now reveal, Diana, what is the nature of your relationship? <laughs> Just a friend. Just a friend. Just a friend. And um, are you going along with that? Yes. 
You look like you're bullying. Yeah. Yeah, her body language is like, I don't know, can I sit shit watch? You know, because you're sitting, you're sitting there, nice and composed, whatever admin you were doing on your phone's done, the phone's away, you're there. A little bit defensive, you're covering up, but this lady is sort of crouching the torch. She dared face me because she knows that you're her master. So she's looking at you. It's almost if she it's almost if you'll tear her off if she turns around and looks at me. What are we gonna say again? Alright. Where did you meet? Where did you meet? How did you become friends for the first time? Oh, you studied together? Yeah. That's what I meant. When I said you worked together, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. I meant, I meant you studied together. Okay, so you met, met at school? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And, and, um, and were you studying anything specific? Um. Why did you laugh at that Spanish man? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, God. I went to my Spanish. <laughs> You're right. But nothing to do with them, but there is a, this house is haunted. <laughs> Spaniard, you laughed and then looked at your woman. You looked at your moo hair. You laughed and then looked at your moo hair. Why were you looking at your moo hair? Uh, if you don't speak Spanish, moo hair is the Spanish for woman. Okay? Hombre is the Spanish for man. He is the Spanish hombre, and this is the Spanish moo hair. Right. Why did you laugh and look at your moo hair? What was it? Be honest, tell me. She was laughing. She was, she was laughing, and you've never seen your uh, moo hair laugh before. <laughs> what is this new noise that my moo hair is making? <laughs> how, long, how long has she been your moo hair? That's not good, mate. You should have, it's not a sign of love if you don't know how long you've been with your moo hair. Okay, I'm going to go to this man here. How long have you been with your moo hair? 43 years. 43 years. He had to think about it, but it's 43 years. It's pretty good. Pretty good. The relationship is going to continue for some more years now. Whereas you're in jeopardy. <laughs> you are in jeopardy. I know you haven't been together for 43 years, and you don't know how long you've been together, and that is going to be a problem for whether you're going to stay together any longer. Okay? How long have you been his move here? Married seven. Married seven. So the official move here, seven, yeah? Together 17. To 17 years together! What? You've been together since you were two years old? <laughs> well, look at them now. They only look like they're 19, don't they? What? So, oh, that's so romantic. How old were you when you got together? 14. 14 is like Romeo and Juliet! <laughs> it would have been like Romeo and Juliet if Romeo had a very bad memory. <laughs> and wasn't as romantic as the play had led us to believe. <laughs> okay, that is really romantic. Um, is there anyone in the room that believes that they are a more romantic couple than these teenage lovers? <laughs> you are the romantic king and queen of this world. <laughs> well, at least the moo hair is. <laughs> We're not going to let you forget that you did not know. I mean, it's a thing, it should be so proud of this. If we begin since you were 14, were you 14 as well? If you say that you were 32, then it's less romantic. Okay? How old were you? I was 16. Oh, you were 16. Yeah, it's really, it really is like Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet were 14 during that, at that point. So that, was, uh, that is lovely, absolutely lovely. And, and, then, and then you have to wait. Well, you waited 10 years until it was legal. <laughs> and, then, and then you got married. And then uh, three years later, you emigrated to Penn. Okay, that's lovely. So in all that time, she never once laughed, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> until tonight. <laughs> he thought, he thought he knew everything about this moo hair. 
And then tonight she started laughing. What is that? <laughs> and you know it's the sound of joy. <laughs> very sweet, very nice. So, um, como, como uh, te llamas? Andrea. 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 Mm -hmm. Her name is Andrea. And the hombre? Andrea. Are you kidding me? They both got the same name. Oh. Andrea? Your name is Andrea. And your name is Adrian. 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 Adrian, but without the end. Adrian? Adrian without the end. Adrian. But yeah, everybody says we have the same name. In Malaysia, it's the same. Because you do, because your name is Adria. Yeah. Your name is Adria, and her name is Andrea. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. Has that caused any hilarious confusions? <laughs> have you accidentally gone to work wearing a bra <laughs> and skirt? <laughs> I'm assuming that their clothes are laid in there. <laughs> no, I must have done it. What I mean, uh, did, did uh, some people use the same name for both. Yeah. So they just, just, they just call you Andrea. They just say Andrea and, and just see who comes. Andrea. They make um, a mix of two and they use this name for both. Okay, okay. Well, that's, that's quite nice because you are married. That is nice. Yeah. I think it's nice. Is it nice or annoying? Annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Probably, probably more annoying for you. Okay then, so um, I'm going to be doing this mainly in English. I'm aware that some of you don't speak English as your first language, you guys, but I've told you, you can put your hand up if you don't understand something, I don't want you to be left behind. Um, who else doesn't speak English as their first? Do you not yawn massively in my <laughs> face, please? Thank you, Jack. <laughs> I know it's boring, okay, but you've got to make the best of it, right? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> How much longer this shit have I sit for? I used my hand. I had to do a workshop with him in the afternoon, and now I have to come and watch him. <laughs> Tedious. And I don't know why I sat right in the front. <laughs> okay. Um, People who don't speak English as the first language, please put your hand up. Please just, uh, just, okay. Uh, yeah, so we've got, we don't remember, we remember, do you remember, do you remember Thomas? Speaks German, but very good English. It's unlikely that he won't understand something. Who else doesn't speak English as a first language? Hand goes up. Yeah, um, okay, good, all right. Uh, what's your first language? Indonesia. Indonesia. Does anyone else speak Indonesian? Exciting. <laughs> You're the most exciting person in the room right now. Because you're the only one that speaks that language. Okay? Um, who is excited that there is an Indonesian in the room? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I don't think anyone would be excited. But people are actually genuinely excited. That is great. So if you'd like to have a photograph with her later, <laughs> um, just, just get, in, get, in, get, in, get in touch with the guy. With, we can do that. We can arrange for photographs with the Indonesian. Can we? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Do you accept? Will you be happy to have photographs with some of your fans? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Yeah, that's, that, that's absolutely lovely. Um, you put your hand up, madam. Lady with the other bag. What's your first language? Japanese. Japanese. Ooh. Ooh. Different noises for the Japanese lady. Ooh. Yeah. And, and a man rattled his fingernails on his table. <laughs> that is, of course, the traditional thing for an Englishman to do. Uh, when there is when there's a Japanese woman in the room, it's only polite for an Englishman to gently, gently rattle his fingernails. Very, very, very polite. Very, very polite. You, you felt welcomed when you heard that noise. She was feeling a little bit uncomfortable, um, especially when she found out that the Indonesian packed the room unfairly with her fans. Um, so when she announced she was Japanese, she thought, oh, this is never going to go well. But luckily, a true gentleman, I think he was the only one that had the good manners to rattle his fingernails. And I, don't, I didn't, didn't see you rattling your fingers. No. And very bad manners. Very, very bad manners. Apologies. Oh, there we go. Well done. Do you accept the apology, lady from Japan? Um, yes, no. 
<laughs> yes, but probably. She can't confirm it, but probably. When will, when will you be able to let him know um, for sure that you have, in fact, accepted his apologies for failing to do the polite thing with his fingernails on the table? Tomorrow morning? Oh, you bring the beer. Okay. Well, you've been invited. <laughs> you've been invited to their house, um, but you are expected to bring beer. Um, but then you will be given your apology. So that, I think that's good. That's nice. That's a never good. Uh, where where else in England are you from? Brighton. Brighton. You're from Brighton. No, that's good. Okay. So have you ever been to Brighton? Yes. You've been to Brighton. That's great. So, then, so already. This, this, um, what is it? Are you inviting him to a barbecue, or is it just, just, a, just a general, a general piss up? Um, fish and chips. Fish and chips. Okay, so there we go. So we're over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the Brighton people. So if you don't know where Brighton is, it's in England. It's by the sea, and they only eat fish and potatoes. <laughs> and, um, the Japanese lady's been to Brighton. She knows that. So in order to make them feel welcome, she's asked them to bring their own alcohol, which she will serve them with their traditional food of potatoes and fish. Okay? That's good. But because she's Japanese, the fish will be raw. <laughs> no barbecue. No, 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 no barbecue. No will the potatoes be raw as well? <laughs> no, they won't. The, the potatoes won't be raw. Is that all right? You just have the chips. No, okay. All right. That's very impolite. We're going to have to apologise again. <laughs> and then you're going to have to invite him around the following week to, to, to see if his apology, his second apology, is being. You know, okay. All right. Um, so we've got. So who was expecting Indonesian and Japanese tonight? Was anybody expecting that? No one was expecting that. Very exciting. Um, is anybody now a little bit frustrated? because they also speak an unusual language and we haven't discovered it yet. Um, Guy, who are you pointing at? Ugo. Ugo! <laughs> Ugo. Uh, what is your first language, Ugo? Pardon? Igu. Igbo. Igbo. <laughs> okay, um, what we're going to do here is, so, uh, Ugo, um, we're going to play a game of, um, I don't know if you're allowed to say this, we're going to have a game of Chinese whispers, and what happens is, um, or in the um, Americans call this broken telephone, Ugo, you're going to whisper the name of your first language <laughs> into the ear of the person that's sharing your table. He is then going to whisper it into the ear of the lady that thinks she can spot Ghostbusters when she sees one, and so on, until it eventually comes to the front, and we're going to find out exactly <laughs> what language Ugo speaks. Go for it, Ugo. I thought he said, you thought he said ego. Ego. You thought he said ego. I thought I heard Igbo. So those are the two, two things. We've got to do better than Evo or Igbo. Um, Ugo heard both Evo and Igbo and he wasn't happy. So I don't think Ugo thinks it's Ugo thinks it's Igbo or Igbo. Um, but we're now going to see if the group brain can come up with something better. She's now whispering it into a Japanese ear. So it's going into the Japanese ear, ladies and gentlemen. We have no idea what it now is. The Japanese lady's asked for it twice, which is actually against the rules. But she has to make the best of it. She just has to make the best of it. She's missing out. She's missing out the guy in the blue t-shirt and it's going straight to the lady with a heart on her t-shirt. She now wants to go back. And, oh, this is ridiculous. I should have gone to him before her. I mean, I've never, I've never, I've never, now, and now he's refused. He's refused to take part. He's gone back to her. And now, it's, now there we go. It's, it's going in the right way now. Where's it going to go now? Okay, oh, it's going there. Right. And now she, what's she going to do? She's going to whisper it into the man who's very sleepy. We know that. Wake him up. And it's, and it's going, going to Indonesia. It's gone into an Indonesian ear. It comes out of an Indonesian All right, now it's going to the, to the mysterious... Now it's going to the, the master. Out of respect, she only gets one go in the master's ear. 
It's gone through the Spaniards like a dose of salt. Okay. And now it goes to the lady that nearly lost her life. Okay. She's now got it. And now it goes to the only gentleman in the room. The only man with good manners. And he's now going to deliver it to me. Okay. Ego! Ego! Okay. Ugo, is your first language ego? No. No. Let's do it again. No. no. Right. Ugo, if it's not ego, and if it's not Igo or Igbo, what is your first language called? That's what he said. <laughs> sure, that's what you said, Ebo. He said Ebo. Ebo, Ebo, Ibo, we all bow. Ebo, Ebo, Ebo. Oi, oi, oi. I don't know what's happening now. Can you just hypnotise me, Hugo? Okay. Okay, so it's Ebo. There we go. So I think Ebo is pretty good. I think, I think, because we've all heard. Japanese, we've all heard of Indonesian, only the well mannered gentleman had heard of Ebo. Who else had heard of the Ebo before Ugo? Ebo before Ugo. So, uh, Ugo, you win. Uh, yeah, you win. I mean, you actually win nothing, uh, but it's, uh, it's a sort of honorific title. So you, you are the, um, you, you're the person with the most interesting first language. I think that's what we're going to give you. I don't know if we can give you a prize. We, 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 I mean, maybe, maybe that will be your prize, I don't think. <laughs> so that's, that's that. Um, and um, anyone got a first language that's not English that they think's a little bit boring? What's, what's your first language, Diana? Malay. Yeah. So that, that's a bit boring because we're in Malaysia. Yeah. Right? Everybody should speak Malay in Malaysia. Um, so yeah, I get that. Okay. Anyone else speak Malay here? Put your hand up if you speak Malay. Put your hands up if you speak Malay. Yeah, okay. Good, good. That's good. Um, so, and then you're Spanish. And I think we've done everybody. Is there anybody not had their language um, said out loud? What about you, lovely? Lovely you. T-shirt man. <laughs> yeah, me, yeah. What's your first language? Canadian. Canadian? <laughs> you mean English, sweetheart. <laughs> I think, you know, should, do you just speak one of the native uh, Canadian languages? Good old Queen's English. Good old Queen's English, not a native Canadian language. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. And do you live here or are you on holiday? On holiday. You're on holiday. Oh, that's, that's unusual. Anyone else on holiday? Put your hand up if you're on holiday. You can actually put your hand up if you're on holiday. Yeah. And you're on holiday with him. Are you also from Canada? Yeah. Yeah, why did you do that with your head? Is that a Canadian thing? Is that what Canadians do when they say yeah? Yeah. No. 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 Canada, Canada and Singapore. Okay. But, but you live in Canada? Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore? No. No, have you decided to stay here forever? Not sure. Are you announcing that you're leaving your boyfriend? <laughs> no. no. Couldn't you have chosen a better moment? <laughs> yeah, the thing is, we came on holiday, we went to a comedy night, and then she just announced that she wasn't coming home with me. <laughs> okay, so how long have you been on holiday? Five days. Yeah. Five days in Malaysia. <laughs> and um, you will stay on holiday for how many more days? Seven. Twenty-seven more days? Seven. Seven, seven more days. Seven. So 12, it's a 12 day holiday. And all of those days will be spent in Malaysia. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Um, who is Malay here? You're Malay. Does that make you feel ever so proud that they're going to spend all of their days of holiday in your country? Quite proud. Quite proud? Yeah. yeah, yeah good. Did you, you want to say something to them? <laughs> <laughs> have, you got, have you got anything you'd like to say to them? 
What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> For a moment, the roles were reversed. <laughs> it turns out that this one is Puppet Master. <laughs> what, what line were you feeding this woman? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Sit round in your chair properly. <laughs> She's very obedient, isn't she? <laughs> Only had to ask her once. Okay, and what's your name? <laughs> that's not your name, that's just a funny noise you've got to make. Have another go. <clears throat> Guys, she's about, to, she's about to do her name. Okay, please have a blue of respect for her. She's now respecting us, she's sitting in the same direction as everybody else. But, Tasha, 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 welcome Tasha, and um, what would you like to say to your Canadian guests who have chosen to holiday in your country for 12 days? <laughs> Pardon? Why is she watching you? Because you need to be watched. <laughs> Established that you can't be trusted to behave in the public space. Okay? Everybody else put their phones away. Okay? Now, yeah, now you put it away, yes. Now I put it away, yeah. Where was it? it was out. Okay, so that's why. She's, that's why she's looking at you. Yes. Okay? She's also looking at you because I asked you first, okay, and she's thinking. If you'd answered, I wouldn't be in this position now. Okay? She's your friend, and you have betrayed her. That is why she's looking at you. She's looking at you, and she's thinking, what well, some friend you are, Diana. Okay. Anyone else from Malay? Of course, our first comedian is from Malay. Uh, do you have any words you would like to say to the holiday makers that have chosen to have a holiday in your country? Oh, welcome to Malaysia! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> welcome to Malaysia. Okay, great. Alright then, so um, before we begin, let's just, um, <laughs> let's just find out, is anybody celebrating anything? Anybody had a birthday this week? Anybody celebrating? Um, something at all. I don't, I don't want people to feel like um, they come out. Easter? Easter! <laughs> yeah. You're a Christian? Yeah. Okay. Put your hand up if you're a Christian. Okay, so you guys have been celebrating Easter? Okay. Alright, well, happy Easter, guys. When was Easter? Last Sunday. Last Sunday. Okay, okay, so, you, uh, so that's, what you, that's the closest thing you've been celebrating. I didn't realize there were Christians in Malaysia. Okay. So, uh, Indonesian lady, you're a Christian. Wow. So my grandparents and great uncles did a really good job with us. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> the old missionary position <laughs> is still going on. <laughs> Fantastic. Of course, you know, we didn't start Christianity. We didn't start Christianity. We also got it. I think we, where did we get it from? We got it from the Romans. We got it from the Romans. Uh, the Romans got it from... They made it up. The Romans just made it up. It was the Romans that invented it. Was it? Um, Jewish. 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 The Jews! I hope somebody wasn't filming that. <laughs> and one clip from my show that goes viral. The Jews! This <laughs> <laughs> is funny. Now, are, are there any Jewish people in the audience? Who are the Jewish people? Just the one person, Jewish person there clapping herself. That's what the Jews just always clap for themselves. Um, so, uh, so well done for inventing Christianity and giving uh, these uh, seven people a holiday last Sunday. <laughs> so so just, just look at that lady there and say thank you. Yeah. 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 That, that lady there, she invented Christianity. <laughs> then the Romans got it. 
and the Romans came to my island, and they ruled my island, and then they gave it to us. Then we went to Spain and put our island in the wrong place and gave it to them. Um, I think actually they got it first. I think when the Romans came to us, they went through you. Yeah. And then my granny came here and gave it to your granny. There we are. It's all come full circle. The original, the original Christian there. All the way. And you are from America. Which part of America again? Which is a very Christian part of the world. Huh? My people. No, they're not your people. <laughs> well, if you want to say it like that, yeah. All people are your people. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll go back to you. <laughs> is that a, have I said a nice thing or a horrible thing? You think I didn't? What's your name? Mackenzie. Mackenzie? I didn't ask for your surname, your first surname. Right? <laughs> Okay, um, so what is your surname then? Boyner. Boyer. 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 I can see why you've gone with Mackenzie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right, so, so um, if, if, you, if, you, if you're not familiar with English first names and second names, um, I mean, you two are, aren't you? Because you're from Canada. <laughs> Yeah, so Mackenzie's normally a second name, isn't it? There's a lot of Mackenzies. Pardon? There's a lot of people Mackenzie. There's a lot of Mackenzies. Yeah. There's a lot of Mackenzies. There's only one Mackenzie. Yeah. There's only one Mackenzie. There's a lot of Mackenzies. So, um, what's a common uh, second name in Malay? Bin. Bin. <laughs> And would it be unusual if someone's first name was Bin in Malay? Yeah? yeah? Bin means son of. Bin, 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 bin means son of. Yeah. So it would be unusual if somebody's first name was Bin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a name Bin T, but that's different. That is different. Yeah. That's yeah. daughter yeah. of. Very good. Yeah. 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 All the foreigners are speaking now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now the Malays are getting, getting worked up. <laughs> Finally, we've roused the Malays. <laughs> what? The foreigners are speaking. It's our country. They're talking about their foreign religions in our country. Sorry, I, I apologise. But where were you when we asked someone to welcome the Canadians? <laughs> they don't want to welcome, they want to complain. <laughs> Uh, Mackenzie, uh, do you live here? Temporarily. Temporarily. So, so, um, so you do then? For three months for the duration of my visa. Okay. So you're 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 not really on holiday. Not really. No, no. And then, and then, and so you're working here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teaching English. Oh, right. Oh, so you're working. You're working. Um, why? Why do you keep saying kind of? <laughs> because I'm teaching English online to other. Because I'm teaching, I'm teaching English, but I'm not doing it very well. <laughs> so you're not teaching English here? No. Um, unfortunately. unfortunately, because because if you were, what would be the benefit? It's nice to work with the locals. I see, I see what you mean. So what? She's a nomad worker. That lady there knows all the lingo. <laughs> That's a nomad worker. <laughs> Why have you got one of those nomad workers in? Did you go, what did you do on I went to one of the comedy shows and there was a nomad worker in. <laughs> yeah, no, they had one of the nomad workers. They were everywhere, the nomad workers. Not even teaching English in our country. <laughs> Which countries are you teaching English in? Uh, right now, China and Korea. Okay. Okay, that's that's, 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 that's uh, in the region, I suppose. Yeah. Do you have a preference for which uh, first language group you teach English to? Honestly, no. No. And do you like teaching children more than adults? So, both, both have their pros and cons. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay. Uh, top pro. Um, why are you laughing at the phrase top pro? 
I apologise to her. <laughs> she's, not, she's not laughing at you. Uh, what was the top program teaching English to adults? Chill. It's chill. Yeah. Okay. You okay. don't have to bring on the energy. You don't have to bring on the energy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the top uh, con for teaching adults? Okay. Very right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I asked if she tastes them. <laughs> not quite. It's a poker dice. Um, no, it's not a poker dice. That is that, that's just a warning sign for your comments. <laughs> it's impolite on a Sunday in Malaysia to accuse a woman of tasting her pupils. Okay, and that was the warning there. So, so far, we've managed to get through nearly a whole comedy show without a warning, unfortunately. <laughs> ironically, it was a bloody melee <laughs> that sets off the censor. You would have thought it would have been the Canadians that trampled all over the local customs. No. It was a, it was a local. I apologise for that comment. Um, it was an insensitive comment. We, of course, don't expect you to taste your pupils. Um, <laughs> But if you did have a nick of one, um, <laughs> um, would you prefer to lick a child or a <laughs> What? What? Um, yeah, no, I, I, just, I, yeah, I suppose, yeah, okay, all right, all right, okay. I would have thought it might be more vanilla to teach the kids, I would have thought because because with an adult, there could be all sorts of different reasons why they want to learn English. And also, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And, um, yeah, obviously it must be fun to work with kids, but I imagine the attention span is a difficult thing, isn't it? Honestly, adults are worse. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, tell me about it. <laughs> These two. <laughs> <laughs> Always on their phones. Well, can I talk to him now? Why are you looking at me? Yeah, no, I get it. Uh, yeah, yeah, very bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what's, what's, what's the worst thing about teaching a kid then? I, honestly, it is just kind of exhausting. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you have to entertain. Yes, okay. Like, you, you know how it is. Oh, I know how it is. <laughs> sitting, there, <laughs> sitting there, waiting for me to say something funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, we'll go. Well, good stuff. Okay, good. All right then. So, well, I think we can start now. <laughs> we're, we're all warmed up. Okay. <laughs> we're all feeling happy. You've got an invitation to uh, the. Well, what's your? Who have you, you come with, Japanese lady? Okay. Who have you come with? Who have you come out with? She suddenly looks to her left and realises, my God, there's a man sitting next to me. What the hell is he doing here? I don't remember sitting down with anybody. Okay, what I'm saying is, the gentleman sitting at your table, I'm asking you to introduce him to me and to the rest of the room. Um, who is he? You're right, yes. Yes, you're right. You're right. Well remembered. <laughs> well remembered. Now there is a I forgot to mention this. There's a competition uh, for outstanding contribution by a member of the audience. <laughs> and unbelievably, that bloke there, who we still don't know who he is or what he's doing at that woman's table, he is winning the competition because he remembered a thing from earlier and then said it at the right moment when it looked like he was in a difficult situation. <laughs> Very good. Well, another round of applause for that. That's what I'm I refer to him as a gentleman, of course he's not a gentleman, there's only one gentleman, and he's there. He's the only person that knows the Japanese lady rule and wrapping your fingernails on the table. Okay, so who is the man? The man. What did you do? Why did you touch her hand? Oh, you're giving her drugs. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 I thought, I thought man was a trigger word for you and she went to hold your hand or something. Okay. Excuse me, they're drug addicts. They're sharing, they're sh sharing the same 
you know, those sucky things that the, um, you know, those sucky things that all the nomads are doing. You know, they're doing that. They're not nomads, but they're doing this. It's still nomad culture. They probably picked it up off of Mackenzie. Uh, Mackenzie, do you suck on one of those little, um, little things? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> not on those! Cheeky. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you, can you just stop sucking? We're going to go, there's a, there's, a, there's a strange man here. Okay. There's a strange man here. And we're going to find out who he is. Alright? Do you even know where a gentleman is, dear? Do you know where a gentleman is? Have you been paying attention? Where is the one true gentleman? One true gentleman over right there. Yeah, one true gentleman over there. Well yeah. done. Oh. Right, she has been paying attention. Okay. 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 Uh, who's, who's going round for fish and chips to the Japanese lady's house later? Uh, yeah, one guy. Okay, you're pretty good. You pretty... Yeah, I focus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she's good at multitasking, isn't she? <laughs> she can look at her phone and notice what's happening in the room better than most people. Right, okay. So, uh, Japanese lady, what is your name? Yasuko. Yasuko. So, Yasuko, uh, please can you introduce us to the mysterious male figure <laughs> that has charmed us all uh, with his comment about not being a gentleman. And of course, by saying that he's not a gentleman, everyone in the room really knew, yeah. That's a gentleman. <laughs> Who is the gentleman to your left? Well, somebody we just met outside when we were talking to you, and you couldn't find a place, and neither could we. Right. So we, we just met at the same time, really. Who were you? Who in the right direction. Yes. Well, yeah, that's that's right. Right. You were coming. You are eating well, pie. Actually, don't spoil the glamour of show business. Don't tell me that I was eating a pie in the street like a homeless person. We didn't know where to go. Yes. And then, and then we asked you, and then where is this place? And then I dialed up. And then you had to go to somebody. And I rang, I rang, I rang. Yes. And you weren't eating a pie. You were eating a pizza. Uh, oh, no, oh, 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 I thought I was eating a pie, but this man saw me eating a pizza. Okay, I can assure you it was a pie, but you know. Um, okay, so it was you, so that's the backstory. So the backstory is, um, I didn't know how to get here. I foolishly put the uh, name of the, of the, the bar um, into Google. Google took me to a, a different part of town, um, but also I met, met those guys and somehow or other, that's the back story. Yeah, so, so I, I, I've, I've actually known you before. What's his name? I don't think he wants, I think he's trying to stall. I don't think he wants to tell us his name. But he's prevaricating. He's throwing, he's, he's throwing chairs and bins in our way. We're chasing after him to get his name, and he's throwing stuff to block us. Okay? He could have told us his name, but instead he said, Hey, I saw you eating pizza in the street. <laughs> We're going to try again. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> well, I'm actually with that lady there. Okay. You're you're with with which you're with which lady? You're with you're with Tasha. 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 That bloke there. Yeah, he says he's with you. Is he not? Can someone call the police? I don't know. This, this lady's just going up to strangle him. Put your phones down there, I'll do that later. Okay. So, dear Mackenzie, um, thank you for bringing us here all together. We thank you for Easter. We thank you for nailing Jesus to a cross all those years ago. Um, we thank you for giving the lady from Indonesia her religion. And, uh, and 
and the other people. Thank you for that. Uh, we thank you for bringing a Japanese lady with a mysterious man <laughs> whose name we will never know. Um, we ask you to watch over her and um, we ask for you to watch over the couple that have been invited round to fish and chips at her house. Beer! <laughs> no, beer! I think it's allowed to bring it anyway, doesn't it? Um, we, uh, we ask you to watch over this haunted house, which we have definitely established has got at least one poltergeist in it. We thank you for sparing the life of the blonde lady, who is now too traumatised to go back to her seat in case some other artwork falls onto her head. We thank you that the blonde lady came here with a true gentleman that knows how to treat a Japanese lady. We ask, we ask uh, you to... Uh, we thank you for punishing us by sending Diana, a naughty, difficult woman, into the front row with her cheeky, giggly accomplice, Tasha. Please punish them. Please punish them this week for their wickedness and their wicked behaviour. Please punish Diana by making her phone die on her every single day for the next seven days so she can't, she doesn't have anything to do. We thank you for sending a very tired man into the middle of the room to yawn in my face. <laughs> we thank you for showing us that true love really can last 43 years, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and we thank you for sending the Spanish Romeo and Juliet, although we ask you to help the, uh, the bloke up his game a little bit and remember exactly how long he's been married. <laughs> we thank you for the Canadian holidaymakers lovely, innocent people that we fear have been corrupted by the pervert behind them who asked a woman if she licks her <laughs> students. <laughs> um, we thank you, uh, thank you for the lady from, Indi from Indonesia, just because she's from Indonesia. <laughs> that really excited us. Um, we ask you to forgive me uh, for not being able to pronounce Ugo's original first language. Um, and please punish me by making you never be able to remember it again. <laughs> Amen. So then that's it. Um, I thought I came up with a bag, but I don't know what I did with that. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So, uh, look, I've got a book of poetry that I sell if you want a book of poetry. Um, uh, you can, um, I was, we didn't have time to read any of that, but you know, you can read it to yourself quietly, uh, best if you want to. Um, thanks very much. Uh, please welcome your host, Gary, back onto the stage. <laughs> <laughs>